John Keating, who is the charismatic, energetic English teacher who inspires his students of Wilton Academy to rebel against their family and other teachers. Keating began teaching at Wilton in 1959 and immediately makes an impression on his students, who aren't used to such exciting, fascinating lessons. He inspires his students to look at poetry with a different perspective of authentic knowledge and feelings. He uses unorthodox methods to reach out to his students who face enormous pressures from their parents and the school. He urges his students to seize the day, specifically near Perry, to talk to his father about love for acting. After Noah's tragic suicide brought fell apart because Noah did not talk to his father, Keating is blamed for corrupting his students and fired from home. Most of his students sit up on the desk and on their phones. Keating's emphasizes on freedom and originality raises many eyebrows at Wilson, a school that celebrates tradition above everything else. The first day of class, Mr. Keating says, rip out the page in your books, go on, rip out the entire page. I want this rubbish in the trash where it belongs. His example inspires the students to revive a secret society of which Keating was once a member of, the Dead Poet Society. Keating tries to convince his students to be more reserved and cautious in their behavior. Then his students begin to fight back against the Wilson administration more and more overtively. With Keating's help, the students, Neil Perry and Todd Anderson, and others, learn to break out of their shells, pursue their dreams, and seize the day. Words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now, see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye? Like 19th century literature has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. Mr. Hopkins, you may agree with them, thinking, yes, we should simply study our Mr. Pritchard and learn our rhyme and meter and go quietly about the business of achieving other ambitions. I have a little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up! We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. It's a quote from Whitman. O me, O life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, O me, O life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. Powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be?